Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be covering one of the best sets that you're ever going to run across in the Lost Depths DLC. Now, it doesn't matter if you're into PvP or not. Now, this set is only available in Rewards for the Worthy, meaning you can flip this in the auction house for some really, really high gold prices. So even if you're not into PvP, listen up because this video is going to be relevant for you. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Welcome back guys and before we hop into the meat and potatoes this thing a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat man the support you guys provide is absolutely amazing and I appreciate each and every single one of you. So what's really interesting about this set is that there are already two sets in the game that do something very very similar so you're actually getting a twofer when it comes to this set. It is a heavy armor set. If you guys don't already know by the thumbnail, it's Mars Balm or Mars Balls as a lot of people's calling it, okay? Again, you can get this in rewards for the worthy. So guys, if you want to make a metric crap load of gold, please just hop into Cyrodiil, zerg it up. I may even zerg it up because your boy Horcrux is running really, really low on gold for all these golded out PVP builds and theory crafting builds. So I may actually be zerging when the patch goes live because I need gold guys I'm not gonna lie to you I will guarantee you even crappy traits of this like trainee for example like, like literally training traits will probably go for like 50 to 100k right off the rip and god forbid you get something like well fitted or impenetrable or if you get like a heavy reinforced chest or something like that I guarantee these pieces will be going for like 250 up to like 500,000 per piece so as soon as you get the sets guys Fill out your book. It doesn't matter what traits you get. Just fill out your entire freaking book just so you can transmute these later, get the traits you actually want, and just sell everything, okay? Like, if you want gold, this is going to be the set that everyone's going to want. I'm not sure if everyone's going to want this set to begin with because since all the nerfs to, like, Iron Blood, for example, um, rip my baby, guys. Like, Iron Blood... Oh, I hate that I even have to talk about this set because uh, Iron Blood is no more. So I have to find a different Heavy Armor Back Bar set that's going to carry me through the 1VXE material. If you're a solo player, if you're a small group player, this is definitely going to be a set for you. And the best thing about it is you only have to double bar, guys. But yes, if you want some quick gold, just hop into Cyrodiil, hop into Battlegrounds, and pop your, 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 your double AP, whatever food that it is, the... Uh, whatever, I'll, I'll put it somewhere. I don't know what it is, okay? I'm rambling right now. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this set. So let's go over the two piece. Uh, it gives you armor. Three piece is going to give you critical resistance. Four piece is going to give you healing taken, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, this this is healing taken. That's from anyone. It's not it's not healing done. So this is actually pretty good all around. And then the five piece, which is very reminiscent of sets we already have. So I'm gonna go ahead and read through it here. So when a negative effect is removed from you, now we're gonna come back to this statement later. Read very carefully what this five piece does. When a negative effect is removed from you, we're, we're in cliff notes that one, okay? Restore 2,111 health. Now this is going to be halved in serial, so essentially 1,000 health, okay? When you take damage while you have six or more negative effects on you, you cleanse all of the negative effects. This effect can occur once every 15 seconds. So this is combining two different sets into one. So let's take a look at Weird Tree. So Blessings of the Weird Tree, the five piece. When you cast a magic ability, you remove all negative effects from you. This can occur every 15 seconds. Okay, a little, little, little copy pasta there. And then let's go check out, check out Robes of the Hist, the five piece. After being hit with the disabling immobilization or snare effect, you heal for 2,000 every one second for five seconds. Now, keep these two sets of mind as we go back to Mars Balls here. So let me... We circle back around to why this set is going to be really good. You do not have to double bar this set. You can double bar this set to get a lot more healing returns, but I feel that this is going to be a back bar exclusive set. Yes, you're not going to get the most efficiency out of it, only being on your back bar, but you run into issues when you start double barring sets, you lose out on a lot of efficiency. Um, you're more than likely not going to be able to run another five piece, a mythic, and a monster set. Whereas if you only have this on your back bar, you can run another five piece, a mythic, and a monster set, and one piece training. So when it comes to efficiency wise, you only want to have this on your back bar, okay? So what do I even mean when it says, when a negative effect is removed from you? So first of all, what is a negative effect? A negative effect is literally anything. Whether it be a snare, not, whether it be a snare, an immobilization, a status effect, a damage over time effect, literally anything. 
So you may be thinking about this the way I initially thought about this set. It was like, okay, well, I can't really cleanse any, you know, I'm on DK, for example, I can't really cleanse anything. So this really isn't going to benefit me. This is only going to benefit uh, Templars, you know, Necromancers, Wardens. Um, that's where you're absolutely wrong and I was wrong as well. Now, the way this set actually works is, when, let's say if you have uh, Burning Embers on someone and you reapply Burning Embers, because you reapply Burning Embers, that effect is removed and replaced with a new one. Every time you do that, you're healing them for 1,000. So whenever dots are reapplied to you, whenever an immobilization effect is removed from you, let's say you're stuck in Talons and you use Race Against Time, okay, well that's going to be a thousand health right there. Whenever negative effects fall off, you know how stats effects only last like five seconds, when any of those fall off, that's going to be a thousand each and every single time that happens. You know, when it comes to poisons, dots, whenever those two or three second poison dots roll off of you, that's another thousand health, okay? Not only that, when you get overwhelmed with dots, this is effectively like, like a 5k magic up, like purge, okay? You're essentially a Templar on your back bar, and this can occur every 15 seconds. This is four times a minute, which is incredibly powerful, okay? Like, this, this set is low-key going to be one of the sleeper sets if it's not a super meta set at the beginning it definitely will be and this is a set that everyone if you are a solo player or you are a small group player this is going to be so strong on you so what Zoss has done they've got rid of all the mitigation sets you know iron blood rip uh, they dumbed down all the champion points, you know, uh, the, all, all the mitigation champion points. I'm very surprised that they haven't nerfed Vampire into the ground with the Undeath passive. I was actually expecting them to nerf it down to like 10% and 20% respectively with the Undeath passive, but uh, that never happened, and who knows, that may happen in a later patch. Uh, we'll just kind of see how the game plays out, but um, this kind of goes along with um, how, how healing is just so grossly overpowered in ESO right now. So. There's ways to, mit to mitigate damage, all right? If you're not getting hit via roll dodge, you know, that's mitigating damage. If you have, you know, just passive resistances and damage mitigation, naturally, you know, that, that mitigates damage. And also, a good way to mitigate damage is just to heal through the fucking shit, okay? I'm hitting people with 15k whips right now on my Broken Soul PvP build, and people are getting Breath of Life through it like it's nothing. So if you can heal through all the damage, that's essentially damage mitigation. And that's what this set provides. If you're back playing on your back bar and someone decides to apply a dot to you, reapply a dot to you, if any status effects fall off, if you're removing snares from yourself, like it doesn't work with Road Dodge, I've already tried. And another thing I did try with the Templar on the PTS is, let's say you have like 10 negative effects on you and you purge them all, you don't just randomly get 10,000 health from that. Uh, it occurs in like instances. So. If you remove 10 effects or something, you know, that's that, that's only going to be like, you know, it, 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 it doesn't matter how many you remove, it's only going to be a thousand. Like, you, you guys get what I'm saying. It has to be different instances of that. Now, you can you can, can run this with something, if you really want to be trolly, like something like Curse Eater, which is going to give you um, res resources back every time you remove a negative effect. So every time you remove a negative effect now, because of this, you're also going to get healed. So there's a lot of synergy with that as well. Um, Weird Tree, like I said, would be pretty good to pair with this as well because you could run like blessings of the weird tree right and then you could also run mars balls and you could literally never even have a negative effect on you whatsoever because every 15 seconds you're going to be removing effects it's just just constantly and then you have like ropes of the hiss anytime you, you you have a disabling stats effect on you i mean you could pair this with a lot of sets guys and you can be just just a tank just with the sheer amount of healing that you have so this is definitely a set that um, is it going to be meta breaking? I'm, I mean, not really. Is it going to be something that's super noticeable? Um, you won't really notice it at first until you come across some of these hill bosses. Like some people are running like Malbeth as a monster set. You compare that, you know, with Mars Bomb, you know, Mars Balls. That's also going to bolster the effects of this because you're getting uh, major mending. And uh, I, I think that's what you get, you know, and kind of increase healing, you know, thereof. So this is a really, really powerful set that I suggest everyone in PvP at least get. I mean, you're going to get it at some point anyway. And this is such a good back bar set just to have um, you know, in duels. I don't think uh, this is going to be too viable. I mean, it might. There might be some really niche builds out there to where you can run this, like maybe spamming Betty Netch, for example, since Betty Netch is free to cast anyway. So you're also going to get heal on top of this. Um, just really depends, right? There's a lot of niche scenarios where this will probably be viable. Um, are you going to be running this in battlegrounds? Ah, eh, probably not so much. More than likely, you're going to have a healer in your team anyway, so this set really isn't going to be that viable. So, when it comes to viability, I think 
if you are a solo player or if you play in very very small groups this is going to be a set that you absolutely have to have and even if you don't want to run it just sell the pieces guys each piece is going to go for a metric shit ton at the first week of eso so please get out there get farming and when it comes to other sets you gotta be on the lookout for guys i everything just seems kind of underwhelming right now to be honest with you we'll see after the patch drops but definitely Get this set if you haven't already. If I have not said it at least 11 times in this video, to really drive the point home of getting this set, this is going to be one that uh, it's really going to make it, make or break um, a lot of builds. And if you and one VX is going to be very very difficult. Um, so you need a really good defensive set. And I think this will be one to kind of put you over the edge. You kind of run this with like Vampire Stage Three, you know, to get some passive mitigation. And then, you know, you're healing out the wazoo, you know, with this set anyway, when you're backpedaling on your back bar. So that's really all I want to go over in this video was to just kind of bring attention to the set. Now, I will have a build involving this on the DK naturally, probably the first week um, of the patch. I'm going to try to get some clips for you guys and kind of show you the healing capabilities and what this set is truly capable of. So if you want to be one of the first to watch the build video I put out, guys, just hit the notification icon. You know, if you're not already sub, please do so, because occasionally I do put out some pretty decent content. So... Anyway, this has been Horcrux. I'm rambling now. I'm terrible with outros. Hopefully you all have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.